Ken Trahan with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend review brought to you by First NBC Bank with 35 locations throughout Southeast Louisiana and the Florida Panhandle. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. The saga of Junior Gallette continues. Where it ends, nobody knows. The most recent incident involving a video which surfaced from 2013 on South Beach, which purports him to be swinging a belt at a woman. His attorney says it's not him, and the Saints have sent the video to the league. And Lenny, the way to interpret that is twofold. One, that perhaps they're trying to be preemptive and, and get something to the league to let them clear it up because the attorney says it's not him and to clear him perhaps. Or two, uh, to start the wheels rolling to where they might be able to alleviate themselves of some hefty financial responsibility because they're on the hook for a lot of money to collect. They are, and uh, look, just based on what I've read here in the last 48 hours, if if they choose to cut ties here with Gallette, they're not getting anyway. any any kind of relief. So it's, you know, I, at this point, you know, this thing has to play its course. Obviously, Gallette said last week that he is due to meet uh, with the folks in New York uh, long before this surfaced here, at least publicly again, uh, sometime next week or before the end of the month. So, um, you know, let's let's see what, you know, a lot of things are still to happen there. I think it's we're getting to the point where it may be time to cut bait. There's just, you know, the things that you see with, with Gillette, does the off-the-field uh, outweigh – the on-field production, and I think it's beginning to at least look that way. You don't always have to be guilty in these situations, but you know, if you just hang around with the wrong crowd and trouble follows you, then you know that that's it's guilt by association, if you will. But it's not the type of thing that you need in your locker room. And of course, we're still waiting to see the ultimate uh, conclusion with LSU's problems and players suspended, but that doesn't mean anything moving forward. The season doesn't start until September. So as a result, that could rectify itself in short order. Stay tuned for that with the other player. That's another story. This is what's happening, so we have to talk about it. But then we move on. So we'll do just that. And the Saints, of course, back in action. Mini camp late July in West Virginia at the Greenbrier. The Zephyrs are back home. It's a brief homestand. Round Rock comes to town Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And that means we'll probably see a prominent name and pitcher that we know very well who just pitched very well in the major leagues yeah it looks like anthony renato the former lsu standout is going to pitch on wednesday that is a day game an 11 a.m first pitch so if you do want to go out and check out the the former lsu tiger you're gonna have to work it around your work schedule i guess but 11 a.m the tuesday and thursday games are night games uh and uh you know you're right he's been pitching very well got a chance to get up to the big leagues last week Showed very well for himself, but numbers being what they are, it was a spot start situation. Now he's back down in AAA and will once again try to make his way back up to the big leagues. The New Orleans Pelicans introducing Alvin Gentry officially as their new head coach Monday. And, of course, you can watch the video at sportsnola.com. We'll have some comments about it as well through our stories. And obviously, as I said at the time, I think this was a safe hire. I think there were sexier picks to make. But the fact that Golden State just won the NBA championship makes it a sexier hire now. It does. And uh, you know, obviously the guy has a, you know, a little bit of understanding what goes on you know, in this city. It was different time management and such. But he, he does understand. And I think he, you know, he comes into a, to a good situation, obviously. As long as, you got, as long as you got number 23 suiting up for you, it stands to be a good situation. That's going to be the one thing. And I'm... I, Sure, we may hear a little bit about that today, but it's certainly when once this gets done and you have the NBA draft Thursday night, the Pelicans have a second round pick, at least as it stands right now. But then come next week is when you can offer Anthony Davis that massive contract. And how will things go with that? On a national and international basis, the U.S. Open decided Jordan Spieth becomes the youngest person since Gene Sarazen almost a century ago to win both the Masters and the U.S. Open in the same year. At his age, it's remarkable when you look at what this young man has accomplished. You hated to see him win it the way he did. Dustin Johnson just imploded on the final hole, and that's really unfortunate. But it doesn't deter or take away from what Spieth has accomplished. And, and Lenny, what's good about this, and I said this on various radio shows around the state and around the South this morning, is that for golf, you really need 
that competition. If you don't have those colorful guys, you got to have that rivalry. And I think now you have that with two very young guys, an international player in Rory McIlroy and an American in Jordan Spieth. Indeed you do. And, I mean, look, everyone has had their rivals, you know. You know, Palmer had Nicholas, and then Nicholas in his later years had Watson. And, uh, you know, you, you can throw some others in the mix there with the, the Faldos and the Biasteroses and stuff at, at their, you know, at their peaks. But, you know, and I mean, you know, look, we had Tiger and Phil, but Tiger is clearly – a descending player. Phil is 45. It's time for that next generation. There are a lot of good young players, uh, some of which, who knows, maybe talking about guys from Louisiana down the road because there's a lot of good young talent in the state of Louisiana right now. But, you know, Spieth at the age of 21, McElroy still in his 20s. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Look, as long as you've got a shot at a calendar year Grand Slam, hey, we had a triple crown this year. Could we have a Grand Slam too? Now, that would be extraordinary. Yeah, I don't see it, but I wouldn't totally dismiss it with the mannerisms of this young man, the way he handles himself, ultra competitive and always prepared and doesn't seem to have a weakness in his game. Don't forget our prep previews on football all over the site. New one every day. Check it out at sportsnola.com. ED White Catholic up today, and you can watch every day as we post new ones each and every day. Heading into the prep football season, which is not that far away, scrimmage is coming up in mid-August, jamborees in late August, and the start of the regular season, first week of September. It's always football season in Louisiana. So just uh, keep up right here at sportsnola.com. We'll have something new for you every day to check out, uh, just counting you down to the start of high school football season. That's a winner. And that is our First NBC Bank weekend review brought to you by First NBC Bank with 35 locations throughout southeast Louisiana and the Florida Panhandle and growing. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of sportsnola.com. Have a great week, Lenny. All right. See you later this week. He's Lenny. I'm Kenny. You have a great week as well, and God bless you.